When you're trying to break into the ritual of racing, you want to be let in however possible. I don't build cars, I don't drive them, and I certainly don't get my kicks standing behind the sidelines. From the time my bare feet touch sand and lock eyes with the racers, there's a moment when the world stops and waits for me to start it back up again, to let them fire, let them burn, let them drive fast. What are you doing here? Lucy, hey. Lucy is cute. Where'd you get that pit pass? Does it matter? But she could be psychotic too. What? I don't know what you think you're doing here, but you are not flagging tomorrow. Why? Because I said so. <laughs> All right. We're, uh, we're friends, right? You know, friends don't steal each other's boyfriends. Sure they do. One of those beautiful, gullible, celestial souls who you don't want to cross too many times. If I see you anywhere near the strip? Because she's bound to eventually cut you. I'll cut you. Lucy, I gave you that blade. We're cool. Yeah? We're cool. <laughs> Piss off, Jarevsky. <laughs> what the fuck? Did I really steal her boyfriend if we were meant for each other? It wasn't hard. Joe and I are soulmates, even though the first time I met him, I thought he was dull as shit. The second time we met, I had sobered up and found him to be the only person on earth who saw me for who I am. That strange feeling of familiarity captured my curiosity. The doctors call it auditory hallucination, and it got the best of us. Joe's demons are not his own. They're trespassers who occupy his head for no good reason. He stopped figuring out a long time ago why this happens to him. He's learned to live and try to keep at arm's length the constant frequency of disembodied voices having conversations that have nothing whatsoever to do with him. It's an American trick. Take something shitty and make people want it. Make them want to buy it, emulate it. Variations on shit? Exactly. Think fast, Joe. Thanks. Some of these New York billionaires, there's something about their face. It's like their skin's like a baby's ass. So you're thinking about selling the place? Afraid so, guys. They threw out some crazy numbers. Said they were gonna incorporate the culture of the neighborhood into their condo designs. Hey Joe, anybody tell you don't really play well with others? I mean, I, I never disappointed with myself. <laughs> Wise ass. Vance, I mean, not for nothing, but this speed shop is your legacy. I don't care about that. After I signed the docs, the speed shop's days are numbered. The uncommon thought on a common problem it's gentrification. It pays until it doesn't. Damn, Vance. I never thought you'd be a sellout. For the right offer, we're all sellouts. The Guanas, it isn't what it used to be. We're the last of the Mohicans. With the garage client relationships you two built up, they're yours. Both of you. Now, take it and do, make something of it. Who? Me and the idiot savant over there? How? Where? With what money? We'll talk about it later. And when are you thinking of selling the property? Sometime in the new year. We need to let the members know they need to find a new home for their bikes. Knucklehead Speed Shop! <laughs> you guys sell t-shirts! Nah, 
We're closed indefinitely. We're sellouts. Sure, 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 sure. Looking for Joe. He around. Well, I'm Joe's boss, and he's on the clock. What do you want? It's private. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, Joe, you. Yeah, you. <laughs> you got a minute? Okay. Let's go in the back. Yeah, let's take it in the back. The floor begins to slope downwards, gradually at first, so that we don't notice it. Then we see the doors appear, the sphincter at the base of a long gullet, one red, one blue. I'm here because we have something in common. You know who I am? I hear you still owe me about 50 large for that shit job you did that got two of my guys jammed out. I'm making the payments. I know you are, but it's coming back too slow for me. Well, it's the deal I made with Rose. Rose? Right. You call yourself a getaway driver, you son of a bitch? I mean, are you ever going to explain yourself to me? Do you have any excuses for what happened? Look, I, I told Rose it was all my fault. What else do you want from me? I'm not here to bust your chops. Got a new deal that I want to run by you that's going to be a hell of a lot more useful to me than your miserable monthly installs. The bottom line is this, Joe. You do something for me, your marker goes away. Everybody deserves a fresh start. Now this is your chance. What happens if I say no? Nothing happens, but uh, if you slip up, you miss a payment, that story changes a little bit. You know, Joe, you might need to bleed some. What do you want from me? There's a girl I want you to find. There's a ring on her finger. Embedded inside that ring is a set of tiny numbers. As far as the numbers, that's my business. Bring me the ring, your marker goes away. Bring me the girl, I'll throw in 25,000 in cash. Whoa, 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 you want me to kidnap somebody? Did I say that? Besides, it's really more of a snatch and grab, and bringing her in for the 25 Gs is your prerogative. I just don't know why you're coming to me for this. Well, once upon a time, you and this female were uh, star-crossed lovers, no? But it all went to hell in a handbasket because you're <whistles> cuckoo or some shit. What is it? You see things, you hear things, it, I, I don't care, it, I can't remember anyway. But rumor has it, you two had a love child. What? Oh. Well, judging by that look on your face, this is probably the first time you've heard this information, but uh, look, Joe, it's probably just a rumor, so take it with a pinch of salt. Hey, 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 come here, hey. When was the last time you saw Alice? A year ago? She told me not to look for her anymore. Shocker. Why you wear pajamas outside? <laughs> I think the better question is, Joe, why don't you? I spoke to a source, and he told me that if I wanted to find Alice today, that the person to speak to was Joseph Stoltz. Hey. What do we have in common? <laughs> Your ex stole from both of us and thinks that she can get away with it. I put a bounty on her head this morning, so I suggest you find her before the slobs do. George Barra, crypto godfather. He's using his wealth to build up the biggest digital money exchange intended to disrupt US banks. Supposedly he's doing it using stolen crypto. Okay, I have no idea what you just said. What does he want with you, Joe? Alice is in trouble. Alice is in trouble with the crypto godfather? Alice is involved with Barra? You gotta avoid this together. Whatever they want, you say no. Good job. All right?
dad would close the door on the dusty coupe and then we'd walk back down the gravel to the house. My dad held my hand in his, the roughness of his hand like warm wool on my skin. Our nonsense talk made sense to me. I felt the words came from somewhere far off. They had meaning. We connected everything together. They made it all fit. They clicked together in perfect harmony, the perfect language between me and my dad and the world we lived in. I'm back in front of the house, having just collected the eggs. The memory is so vivid. I could see the brown lines between my father's teeth as he smiles and laughs. He lifts me up in his arms, my hands wrapped around the handle of the basket full of eggs. The sun licks up from behind the house and catches me in the eyes. I squint and my grip slackens. I could feel an egg come loose and fall to the driveway below. Two chickens run over and immediately start to peck at the yolk. I look at my father concerned. This is all real. I look back at the broken egg and the yolk isn't yellow anymore but black. The membrane is broken and it's spreading on the ground like a stream of cooling lava. The gravel is turned orange and sandy and the chickens are dead. Their lifeless beaks are hooked to the oozing black yolk which proceeds over their faces and necks and bodies. Soon their bodies are completely lost as the yolk grows so large, there's now a gaping hole with rows of blunted molars and incisors appearing at its edges. Dad, but he's no longer there. It's only me, as a child, crying as the mouth rises up from the sand, unhinging itself further and further until there's nothing but blackness and a putrid wind pulling me in towards it. I lose my footing on the ground and I'm falling, falling until I'm consumed. All right, Joe. You know exactly where to start looking. Are you gonna make it difficult on yourself? Or go right to your old hotel. You know that's where she is. She's probably staying in the same old room too. Joe does a good job at hiding his condition and is fine settling with the idea that people just think of him as someone who may have experienced tragedy in his life and walks around with a dark cloud over his head. And he's weird, quiet, but he's also trustworthy. There she is. That was easy. Same hotel, same room, perfect timing. She looks like she's in a hurry, focused. Let her go. Follow her, but not too close. And make her spot you first. It's less creepy that way. Joe! Hey, man. Hey, how you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good, good. How's the race going? So far, so good. Got a couple good runs in. I didn't hear that. Hey, I'm looking for Alice. Have you seen her? Yeah, she's flagging today. She's flagging, huh? Alright, uh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm gonna come around. See you in a bit. Yeah, come on around, man. I'll see you in a bit. Bunch of yoles out on the beach. 
driving on top of each other, spraying sand everywhere, drunk out their asses. Man, I should find Slinky. He's the only respectable guy out here. Joe? What are you doing here, Joe? Do you know I'm here too? Why would you? Did you come looking for me? Pictures. You came to take your pictures. Without the sun, your forever stream becomes a dry riverbed. But now the light is coming. See how it's so bright. See how it brings the memories. One specific one. Hot to breathe. You should be breathing. Now you realize you weren't dead at all. You were just hibernating. Biding time. Dreaming already forgotten dreams. Of what and where. Who knows? But you remember your friends. You'll never hear their laughter again though. They were taken, strapped to machines at the center of ships, used as engines. I could barely look at the man next to me. Behind the dirt and beard is a gentle face with lines from a hard life cut deep into it. In his hands are the charred remains of a rope a weak flame still burning at the frayed tips. Hey, Joe. What are you doing here? This bandana looks familiar. That's because it was yours. But I don't wear it because of you. No. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not right now. No. I don't think about you at all. Who the hell is this guy? I want a cigarette. No, this guy's bad news, I can tell. He looks like a slob to me. up with a hungry mouth. The hell is he doing in there? No, he's, he's gonna jump her when she walks into the door. I know it. I gotta do something. There's enough to go around. My body doesn't need anything else. But it's dark beneath the earth. My being brought here began the slow attrition. What are you doing here? 
Are you okay? Are you in trouble? Trouble? <laughs> Why are you asking me that? Um, we need to talk. Okay, I don't know what this is about, but I'm with some people, so I can't do this. Is this from my computer? Hey, did you go into my hotel room? Joe, what the hell are you doing? Some creep on a chopper was waiting for you to leave your hotel room so he could go inside. Who was he? Where is he now? Oh, I think I knocked him out pretty good. Then I bolted. What? I think somebody wants something that you have. What? What could he possibly want from me? You want the same thing that I'm here to ask you a question about. Joe, it's been a long time since we've seen each other and I have worked really hard in getting my shit together since after you left, okay? So I'm gonna ask you one more- I didn't leave you. You left me. No, Joe. You were gone long before I decided to leave. I don't know what it is that you want from me tonight, but I can't do this with you, okay? I can't do this. Alice? What? Do we have a daughter? Do we have a what? Somebody wants this ring. I don't care what numbers are burned into it or what it's for or what it's worth. But if it gets our daughter back safely, we have to give it up. It's north of 50 million in crypto, Joe. I can't give it up because giving it up doesn't guarantee me anything. And George won't make a deal unless it's on his terms, okay? And I don't even know how you know about this, okay? Just let me handle it, please. Just say you couldn't find me. Stop! Don't follow me. Stop! 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 Stop it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So. Let me help you. You gonna pay attention to what? Trachea, testicles, testicles, say that. Trachea, testicles, testicles. Oh, hey Joe. Joey, what are you doing here? Did I know he was coming? He texted your phone and I told him where to find us. You could have told me that, Rose. Joe, what are you doing here? You get the ring and you're here to tell me that you're a loser. Let's talk in the dojo. George, the dojo? Are you sure you don't let anybody up there? <laughs> it's already been stained. Do I have to remind you? Yeah, didn't think so. Sorry about that. Did you get Alice's ring? No. Then why are you here? To tell me you're an asshole? Did you find Alice? I came here to pitch you guys a different deal. Oh. Bottom line is, tell me where my daughter is, I'll give you this. Wow, what's that? Secrets of the universe? The uh, key to unlocking the witch's curse? I may be a Jew, but I'm not Mr. Epstein. We don't do kitties. Why would we know where your daughter is? I know you guys got Alice doing illegal stuff, hacking in the bank accounts. You're holding our daughter ransom so that she could keep stealing stuff for you. <laughs> Alice is a liar. You, you know what we have in common, remember Joe? Besides, what am I gonna do with a kid? I am the egotistic, narcissistic poster child for someone who wants nothing to do with children. You know, Jojo is probably with Alice's girlfriend. Girlfriend, ooh, super freak. Joe, did you know about Alice's girlfriend? I don't remember her name, but I think that they're in Brazil together. That's probably where Jojo is. Last time I saw Alice, she said something about wanting to go to South America. Jojo's with her other mommy in Brazil. Now, hackers hack in groups these days, so Alice's girlfriend is probably this baddie named Dredd. D-R-3-4-D. The 
signs. Alice is stateside, isn't she? She gave you that piece of paper to give to me, did she not? What is it? It's a key for a digital wallet. There's three million in crypto on you. Now that's a lot of dough, Joe. Pun. What are you planning on doing with that? Alice gave it to me in the hopes that I can negotiate for our daughter's release from you. Oh, basta così, signore. Hey, no, I am not the one you're negotiating with, but I'll tell you what. I will give you 50 cents on the dollar for everything that is in that wallet. That way, your debt is paid off, and we both walk away with a little extra scratch. You kick me like an animal. <laughs> Where is Alice now? Shh, shit, did we ever date? <laughs> Hear who? told me that you'd say these things. She said that you try to turn it around, that you'd call her a liar. Maybe because that's the truth. George, he's got a gun! Ah! He's got a gun! Ah! Ah! Bullets in your own gun. <laughs> Christ, that was exhilarating. Thank you, thank you for that sensual experience. Oh, survival of the fittest. It was almost better than sex. Good night. Where does it hurt? I uh, think I got whacked in the face. I don't. I don't remember. My ribs hurt pretty badly too. Do you want to sit down? I think. I'm just gonna lay down right here. Ah. Oh, you saw George? What happened? That's what he gave you for the crypto? Yeah. George said he doesn't have our daughter. You said JoJo is with someone in Brazil, in Juno. said you lied. Is that true? It's complicated, Joe. I just don't understand. Why can't you just tell me what's going on? 
I need this money. It's the only way to get Jojo back from that bitch. Who? We need to get to Brazil and buy our way back with this money. What? My wife. She's being stubborn. She thinks I stole from our shared wallet, but I didn't. It's the money I separated to give to you, to give to George, so you So I could what? Why did you give me that money, Alice? You lied about George having our daughter. I went into his place with a gun. What? Where did you get a gun? Why? Protection. I didn't know what I was walking into. I mean, he is the crypto godfather after all. The crypto what? <sighs> That's funny. George's bark is bigger than his bite. So did you use it? Is it gun? Telling me that you knew exactly where Jojo was this entire time. Joe, you came back into my life out of nowhere asking me about my business and I didn't know what your motives were. I gave you that money so you could pay off your debts and maybe do something different with your life. I just, ah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Just forget about me. And forget like you have to feel responsible for a kid. I just want you to be able to take care of yourself, Joe. Maybe find a better doctor. Do you have a picture of her? <sighs> She's got your eyes. I don't have a passport. I'll get you one. A fake one? Good enough to pass for the real thing. Who the hell is this? I found her in the trash. She's a binaural microphone. Looks old. It says here it's a ghost hunting radio. Does it work? You ever hear of EVP? No. It's paranormal equipment. Yeah, it says that on the label. I think I've seen this stuff on TV. It's crap, right? The stuff on TV, yeah, probably. But Hetty has two microphones in her ears. And inside her head's a receiver that could sweep hundreds of frequencies. And after you capture a room, you could play back the recordings of the transmissions that you got. What sort of transmissions? It's like sounds that most people can't hear with their ears. Like words and, and conversations happening in the air all around us. So the conversations you hear are of ghosts? Remembering to put the cap 
pack on the toothpaste and jars and other things. And her husband thinks that she's doing it on purpose just to aggravate him. He's getting angry. Hey, Vivian. hear those words in this room now? It's just, it's static, it's also, it's staticky. Kidding me? You didn't you didn't record that before or something? Alice, why did you want me to be in your life anymore? What? J J turn it off. <laughs> Joe, I So what is this? Like a like a multi-dimensional thing? Maybe. Thank you. All I know is I hear some men speaking out in the hallway about an accident. In this hallway? Yeah. You see them? No, I hear them. They sound like firefighters. Investigating an explosion in the apartment next door. I suspect foul play. Some sort of life insurance scam, they think. But they're... <laughs> There was no explosion. I mean, we're here and everything seems normal. Yeah, this building's over a hundred years old house. Plenty of past lives have come through here. How often does this happen? Pretty much all the time. Some days are harder to ignore than others. Okay. Well, if you're not schizo, then what are you, Joe? I don't know. You tell me. Ah. Huh. 